Subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribe to enter this month's shoutout giveaway, where we shout out one lucky person every month who subscribes and comments. Talking about an entrepreneur means talking about a person with great, innovating ideas that identifies the need for the creation of a business to fill a void. Entrepreneurs can be people of all ages. Their characteristics are creativity, imagination, and a thirst for work. But not all entrepreneurs are as successful as others, and here's a reason why. You don't need me to tell you that leadership and entrepreneurship are all the rage these days. It sort of makes sense since they go hand in hand. Entrepreneurs start businesses and leaders run them, right? That's what I used to think. The problem is that entrepreneurs and leaders have another thing in common. Neither one is actually a job. And that might very well explain why millennials have all of the makings of a great entrepreneurial generation, but have failed to deliver on that promise. It was fascinating to see an infographic comparing the case for and against millennials as the greatest entrepreneurial generation. In addition to being the most educated and business savvy generation, there's been quite a groundswell of media hype linking Gen Y with entrepreneurship, at least in theory. Unfortunately, the millennial generation is also the most indebted, unemployed, and underemployed in decades. Not only has the labor force participation rate plummeted among that age group, so has entrepreneurship. If that's news to you, you'll find more on the subject, including plenty of links to the data here. While economists and statisticians might come up with all sorts of theories and excuses for this extraordinary gap between reality and perception, I've got a somewhat different take. I don't think a lot of people understand the true meaning of the word entrepreneur. My go-to online dictionary describes an entrepreneur as a person who starts a business and is willing to risk loss in order to make money, or one who organizes, manages, and assumes the risk of a business or enterprise. Note the common keywords business and risk. There's no real business or risk. You're not an entrepreneur. The problem is all the media hype. First, there's the persistent entrepreneurial drumbeat, not to mention the common memes that corporations are evil and you won't get ahead working for someone else. And the growing trend toward government safety nets among Western countries certainly doesn't hurt. So instead of getting a job and building a career, large numbers of people are finding ever more creative ways of hiding the fact that they're unemployed, all while telling themselves it's okay since their entrepreneur is building their brand, platform, presence, following, or some other such nonsense. Look, you probably don't want to hear this, but if I don't tell you, who will? Entrepreneur is not a job. Leader is not a job. Social media guru is not a job. If there's no real expertise, no real product, no real business, no real risk, and no real prospect for return on investment, you're not working. And you're not an entrepreneur either. If you want to be an entrepreneur someday, here's an equation you should print out and attach to your mirror, computer screen, smartphone, or wherever your eyeballs spend most of their time. Entrepreneur plus capital equals products plus customers equals business. Don't take my word for it. Look at every successful entrepreneur on the planet. That's the equation that got them there. So, I, th I think fundamentally it's important to understand that Snapchat is not just a bunch of features. Right. It really has an underlying philosophy that runs directly counter to traditional social media. There. And I Evan Spiegel is the CEO of Snapchat. That's his job. It's a real company with a real product real employees, and real investors. And I bet what he really identifies with is the cool ephemeral messaging app the company he co-founded came up with, which is how they managed to attract hundreds of millions of extremely engaged users and raise more than half a billion dollars in venture funding. I do recognize a certain type. Yeah. There is a certain type that makes a good entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is not a lot of the stereotypes that people have about it. First of all, entrepreneurs are highly creative. Some people see problems and entrepreneurs sees opportunity. John Mackey is co-CEO of Whole Foods. Healthy food has always been his passion, but the way he built his company to serve all its major stakeholders is unique. He wrote a book about it called Conscious Capitalism. I seriously doubt if Mackey thinks of himself as a great entrepreneur, but as the co-founder of a great company that showed the world a new and better way to do business. I can go on, but I think you get the point. These guys have jobs, real jobs. They have products, real products. They have real companies that do real business. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, don't start out wanting to be one. Start out with a customer problem and a product that solves it. Get capital, make the product, market it, win customers. Someday you'll wake up and realize what you've become. A guy who took a risk, started a business and made money. An entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is not just about the idea. It is about bringing that idea to life the right way. Even if an entrepreneur does set up his or her business, they must be ready to deal with all the difficult circumstances that might come along. 
Entrepreneurship is the core of the economy, and if the entrepreneurs are not strong, then the economy shall fall. An entrepreneur needs to be persistent towards progression and innovation. The work never stops, but it remains a constant need to make things better. You can try to imagine entrepreneurship as a mindset, a way of thinking, acting, and living. It is a way to always figure out innovative ways to solve problems and evolve ideas and methods. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.